Namaste. Welcome to day nine of our 13 days yoga for a strong core challenge. I hope you're enjoying this journey with me. Today's practice, I'm gonna take you through full body deep stretch, including strong core. Let's begin our class starting in cross leg position. Now, as you're sitting up tall, relax your hips, relax your thighs, place your palms on top of your knees, soften your shoulders, lifting up your spine, close your eyes. Take a second to just pause from everything. Now begin to tuning into your body and notice how you breathe today. Let us deepen your breath. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, release it out. Blink your eyes open. Let's begin to move. Extending arms up over your head, lengthening through your side body. Exhale, lower your hands down to your shins. We'll start with seated cats and cows. Inhale, lean forward, push your belly, chest and gazing up. Exhalation from the tailbone, lower back, mid back, upper back, lean back, chin to the chest. Two more seated cats and cows. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale to cat. Go with your own pace, one more round. Coming back to neutral spine, extending arms out to T-shape, lengthening your chest. Exhale, drop the right hand down. Left hand goes over your head as you're pressing your sit bones. Very good. Inhale, come back to the center. Neck long. Exhale, left hand down. Right hand goes over your head. Inhale, come back to the center and releasing your hands down toward to the mat. Let's take head row, one side. Other direction. Very good. Bring your hands back up over your head, lengthening through your side body. Exhale, make your way to table to position. Let's come to hands and knees, pressing your palms, feet, shins, your arms about shoulder distance, your legs about hip distance apart. Rocking gently side to side. Very nice, and forward and back. Every time when you come forward, gripping slightly at your fingertips. Circling through right side twice. Very good. Reverse twice. As you're shifting your hips back, big toes together touch, resting your body fully in child pose. Notice how you feel around your hips and lower back today. Chest melting close toward to the mat. Let us take a moment here in child pose to set an intention for your personal practice. Perhaps you can come up with one word that resonates with yourself today. Perhaps you can come up with one long phrase, one affirmation. Whenever your mind gets busy, Come back to your intention, come back to your affirmation, stay focused, and let's flow. Inhale, coming forward to table. Keep your knees together, tuck your toes, exhale, send your hips back to your heels, child pose. 
Coming forward and back as you waking up to your spine, cats and cows. Inhale, rounding your spine forward. Exhale, one vertebra at a time, using cow back to child pose. One last round. Inhale. Exhale. Very nice. And as you come in forward back to table, let's lower the forearms down. Keep your knees in line with your hips. Push your right foot all the way straight back. Keep your pelvics tuned, lower belly drawn in, and let's bend your knee. Push your foot up a little higher and circling through your right hip. Three, two, one. Very good. Let's reverse three rounds. Beautiful. As you now extending your right leg straight back, point your toes, pressing yourself up to your palms. Pull the knee to your left elbow, gently twist, waking up to your obliques. Inhale, extending straight back. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Inhale, extending straight back, back of your neck long. Exhale, knee to your chest. Very nice. Inhale, extending straight back. Exhale, knee to your chest once more and step your right foot all the way forward. Lifting up to your back knee up, stay high on your fingertips, keeping your front kneecap in line with your ankle, please, and gently push your belly, chest, and gazing forward. Now you can gently rocking forward and back. Looking good. As you now soften through your back knee a little bit, let's come up to high lunge. So pressing your front foot, arms up over your head. Tailbone ever so slightly tucked down. If you have a little more space, now get your back knee a little straight. Reaching up higher, big breath in. Exhale, squeezing your shoulder blades, opening up to your palms, cactus arms. Let's, go, let's do once more. Inhale, arms go over your head. Exhale, squeezing your shoulder blades. Bend the front knee a little deeper. Good job. Inhale, extending arms up. Exhale, lower your fingers all the way down to the mat. Step your back foot forward. Halfway flat back. Take your feet parallel. Exhale, fold forward. And belly to thigh and then chest, forehead down. Let's pressing your feet, root to rising, all the way up. Circle the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, prayer hands down to your heart and arms by your side. Circle the arms up, inhale. Exhale, swan dive. Halfway flip back, this will strengthen the back of your core. Exhale, step back to plank. Let's hold and breathe here. Shoulders in line with your wrists, push your heels forward. If you can take it a little bit more from the full plank, come high onto your fingertips, please. If you can take it a little bit more, big toes together, touch, brushing your right toes up. Two, one, softly take it down, switch, two, one. Take it to your own level, please. If this is too intense, come down to full plank, or you can even release your knees down. Good, let's go once more. Take it down, switch, left leg. Well done, now together lower all the way down to your belly. Let's pressing your feet, walking your fingertips forward to the corners of your mat, lifting up to your chest, gazing forward to Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower down. Once more, inhale, lifting up maybe a little bit longer. Exhale, lower down. Bring your palms by your ribs, lifting up. And we meet at child pose, Palasana. Long extension with your upper body. Keep sending your hips to your heels. In your active child pose, we come forward and back three rounds using cats and cows. Inhale, rounding your spine one foot at a time. Energetically push the mat with your palms. Exhale, back to child pose. If you hear a popping, cracking from your spine, be happy, smile. Inhale, coming forward again. 
exhale back to child. One last round, your pace. As you now shifting forward back to table, let's lower the forearms down. Keep your knee to knee touch, tuck your toes under. And again, lower belly drawn in towards your spine, extending left leg straight back. Tuning into your pelvics, please. Shoulders relax back. And let's bend your left knee deeply. Push your foot up a little higher. You feel your glute and hamstring engaged. And now opening up to your inner thigh and circling three. Two, one, shall we reverse three rounds? Looking good, hope you start to feeling really good. Push your left foot straight back, point the toes, use your strength to pressing up to your palms. Exhale, knee to your right elbow, twist, Waking up to your side body. Inhale, extending straight back. Exhale, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, extending straight back, neck long. Exhale, knee to your chest. Beautiful. Inhale, extending straight back. Knee to your chest once more. And step your left foot all the way forward. Pressing your front foot, lifting up to your back knee up. Come high onto your fingertips in. Runner's lunge. Belly drawn in, shoulders relaxed. Feeling this beautiful stretch through your right hip flexor. And now let's bend your back knee a little bit, pressing your front foot, keep pressing your back ball of your foot. Come up to high lunge, arms go over your head. If you have a little more space, get your back knee a little straighter. Reaching up higher. Fingers nice and wide open. Exhale, squeezing your shoulder blades, gentle opening up to your chest. Once more, inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, squeezing your shoulder blades. Very nice. Extending arms back up over your head. Exhale, lower your hands down. Step the back foot all the way forward. Let's roll up to stand again. Check your big toes in line with your heels. Arms out to T-shape. Exhale, sit low, chair pose, arms straight forward. Weight goes more toward to the heels. So we'll see if you can peep down your big toes. All the toes can even lifting off from the mat. And then relax your toes down, please. Inhale, opening up your arms out to T-shape, stand up tall. Exhale again, sit lower. Let's add in three. Inhale, up. Exhale. Two. Exhale. One last round. Exhale. Now stay still. If you could, reaching your arms up toward to the sky. Two. One fold forward, Uttanasana. Halfway flip back, longer spine. Exhale, step back to plank. Let's take Vinyasa flow, Chaturanga. Bend your elbows deeply down. Pressing your feet, you may take Cobra or you can take Upper Facing Dog. Exhale, we meet at Downward Facing Dog. Walk it out your downward dog. You can bending one leg at a time. Shoulders relaxed, belly deeply drawn in. You're doing fantastic. Let's take a moment here with eyes closed. Stay still. Come back to your intention. Big breath in. Cleansing breath out. Very nice. Let's bring your feet together, touch. Send your right leg back as far as you could without collapsing your upper body. And from here, let's bend your knee deeply, opening up to your hips, opening up to your side body. Very nice. Extending straight up toward to the sky. Exhale, knee to your chest. Step it all the way forward. 
Let's release your back knee. Keep pressing your back foot. Think about pointing your back foot. Come up to low lunge, arms up over your head. Let's inhale, your fingers. Index reaching up toward to the sky. Bending through your front knee as you keep on rising up. If you could slide back bend. Stay two breath. One more. Very nice. Softly releasing your hands all the way down. From here, listen up. Send your back foot to the outer side, walking both hands toward the middle of your mat and get your front knee straight. Turn your toes in, please. We take a few rounds, cats and cows from here. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Once more, inhale. Exhale. I'm gonna challenge you from here. Coming back to neutral. Now your weight goes toward to the bottom knee and walking your hands a little further back so you can peeling your front leg off of the ground. Don't collapse through your elbows. Keep your elbows straight. Lifting up, please. Stay still. Two. Softly touch the toes down. Five. Up and down. Four, down, doing good. Three, down, two, and one. Beautiful. Drop the foot, heel in, toes out. Bend your knee deeply. Bring your hands to the front leg. Let's send your back foot to the center and make your way to vinyasa flow. Well done, big breath in. Another cleansing breath out. <sighs> Left leg goes up toward to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, opening up to your hips. Feel your psoas through your side body. Very nice, extending straight up toward to the sky. And let's bring the knee to your chest. Quietly, softly. Step before. That was quiet enough, quiet enough. Releasing your back knee, pressing your foot. Let's come up to low lunge. Interlacing your fingers, extending your index, reaching up toward the sky. Slight back bending from the mid back, upper back. Still creating lots of space in your lower back. Say another breath. Elbows a little straighter. Beautiful. Releasing your hands all the way down. And again, just like the right side, send your right foot to the outer side, walking both hands toward to the middle of your mat with your legs straight. Turn your toes in, pressing your foot. Cats and cows here. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Once more, inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Beautiful. Ready for the challenge? Coming back to neutral spine. As you're walking your hands a little further back, weight shifting and then peeling your foot off of the ground. You don't need to lifting up too high. Get your both elbows equally stretched. Lifting up and toe tapping down. Five, lifting up. Four, doing good. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, softly drop, pressing your foot. Walking back to the front leg, and you know what to do. Take your vinyasa flow. Well done. This is our last downward facing dog. Feel free to make any movements or feel free to stay still.
Together, deep, full breath in. Hold your breath at the top. Cleansing breath out. Very nice. Move your way forward to last plank position. And lower the forearms down. Before we get, go all the way down to the mat, let's give ourselves a little more challenge. Pressing your palms, forearms, feet about hip distance apart. As your full body engaged, rocking forward and back. Tuning into your pelvic, glutes engaged. And as you're shifting the way forward, feel your shoulder blades really stretching apart. Right knee, hover, take it down. And lifting up, switch, left knee. Take it up. Let's bicycling the legs. Ten. Keep exhaling out through your mouth if this is getting too tough. Keep going. Soften the neck. Relax your jaw. Ooh, sorry, I forgot to count. I think we have three more. Almost there, two more, one more, well done, now dropping both knees down, pressing your hips, lifting up your chest forward to Sphinx Pose. Feels good on your lower back right now, lifting up your chest, shoulders relaxed, close your eyes. Feel your heart pumping. Reaching your heart up a little higher. Exhale, lower all the way down to your forehead. Arms extending forward, legs extending straight back. Keep on lengthening. Exhale, let's turn our body onto the back. As we are on the back, bend your knees, pressing your feet, lifting up your hips up and down to pressing your lower back, mid back, down close toward to the mat. Check your feet parallel, please. And on your next inhalation, extending arms up over your head. See if you can press in your lower back, mid back a little bit deeper. As you exhale, extending right leg straight up toward to the sky, arms down by your side, chest, shoulders, head and neck up. That's one. Inhale, lower your right foot, arms up over your head. Exhale, switch, left leg up, lifting up your chest up. If this is too much on your flexibility, keep your knee bent, please. Let's keep going just like this. 10. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Soften through your neck. Feel your abdominal muscle contracting. Very good. Keep going. 6. 5. Four, three, two, exhale, come up. One, finish with your left leg. Beautiful. Both arms up, pressing your feet, lifting up a little bit higher. Exhale for another 10 bridges from now. Don't look toward to me. I want you to look, keep looking straight up toward to the ceiling. Walk your heels a little close toward to your glutes. Check your knees in line with your ankles, please. And let's go. Exhale, arms down, pressing and lifting up to your hips up. If you want to double checking if your glutes are working, you can kind of poke, 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 poke your glutes nice and firm. That's it. Exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time from the chest, lower back all the way to your hips. Let's keep going. Nine. Keep pressing both feet firmly down to the mat. When you come up to bridge, feet, shoulders equally weight distributing. Exhale down. Keep going with your own pace, please. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, lower down. Very good. Halfway there. Two more. I know sometimes my counting doesn't make sense. We're doing good, though. 
Beautiful. Extending arms up, lengthening through your side body. Lower back, mid back, lengthening a little longer. Exhale, bring your right knee close to your chest. Extending left leg straight up, big breath in. Exhale, lower your left leg down. Wait for the inhala inhalation, hover the left leg. Exhale, Whew, bring it back up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Exhale, bring it up. Six. Chin slightly tucked down. Five. Four. Two, three. Two. Lifting up, extending right leg straight up to meet your left leg. Arms up over your head, lengthening longer. Exhale, lifting up and touch your thighs. Ten. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, Who? nine. Exhale, eight. A little bit of pushing your thighs with your palms. Five. Four. Three. Two. Almost there. One, bend your knees, flexing your feet. You're going to your you're going to push your thighs, thighs pushing your palms. Shoulders relax. If this is getting too much on your back of your neck, releasing your hands to the back of your head. Stay five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Drop the feet, lower your head and neck down, arms up over your head and gentle twist side to side. Beautiful. Let's not forget the right leg, single leg raise. Now pull your left knee close your chest, right leg extending straight up. Ready? Inhale, lower the leg down. Exhale, Whew, bring it up. Let's go 10, 9, 8, relax your shoulders, 7, 6, 5, exhalation, come up, 4, 3, 2, and one. This time, lower your right leg hovering down. Left leg follows all the way straight. Arms down by your side, lifting up to your chest, shoulders, shoulder blades up. So we're in canoe position. Stay. Allow your body to shake and don't run away from the burning sensation. We stay another two. If this is getting too much, rest down, please. If you can take it a little bit more, we're going to tilt the canoe to the right side. Two, one, good job. Back to the center and lower to the left side. Two, one, come back to the center. Lifting up, 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 up. Exhale, lower all the way down. Well done. Arms up, legs straight. Long one line body stretch. Exhale, we are almost done. Soles of your feet together, opening up to your inner thighs. And as you release your hands down by your side, just like the bridge, we're going to do it once more with the knees wide open. So walk the shoulder blades in, pressing your feet, lifting up to your hips up. And then slowly lower your spine, one vertebra at a time, all the way down to your hips. Let's add five here, pressing, lifting. <sighs> slowly lower down. That's five. Exhale, <sighs> lower down. Three more. Two more. Lower down from the breastbone, mid-back, lower back, and your hips. Relax your hips. One last round. Very nice. Extending arms up over your head, holding onto your opposite elbows. Relax your chest, hips. And releasing your hands, close your inner thighs, pull your knees, close your chest. Good job. Hold on to the tops of your knees and let's circling the hips one direction. And to the other direction. 
this is a bonus for you because you're doing so well. Hold on to the back of your knees. We're going to play with rock to the boot pose. So legs straight up, inhale, exhale. We rock up to the boot pose. Very good. Five just like this. Inhale, rock yourself back. Exhale to the boot pose. Four, three more. Control the speed. Two more. One last round. Come up to boat pose, hold and breathe. Two, one, good job. Cross your legs and facing, I'll facing toward to you to finish our practice. You remember the very first stretch we did? We're gonna add that as we finish. Hold onto your shins, inhale, seated cow. Exhale, seated cat. You can cross your arms to feel your shoulder blades stretch a little bit more. Very good. Twice more. Release. Hold on to your shins. Seated cow. Exhale, cross. Seated cat. Very nice. Coming back to neutral. Arms out to T shape. Exhale, gentle twist. Back to the center, get your spine longer. Exhale, twist to the other side. Coming back to the center, extending both arms up over your head. Let us take goodbye stretch together. Exhale, pray our hands down to your heart. Keep your eyes closed for a moment. Appreciating your dedication, your practice. And thank you so much for practicing with me. Hope you're enjoying this journey. And have a beautiful rest of your day. Looking forward to seeing you again on the next class. Namaste.